Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikan and today's video we'll gonna discuss Prometheus monitoring with Spring Boot. Okay, uh, so let's deep dive into that one. So what exactly this Prometheus? Okay, so Prometheus is a, a monitoring tool which helps to uh, monitoring our applications. Okay, so if you'll see Prometheus is an open source monitoring and alerting toolkit that is commonly used for monitoring application and services in a distributed environment or distributed system. Okay, for example, I have a microservices or I have a Spring Boot application where uh, I have three to four endpoints. For example, for creating a record, for getting, for fetching the record, for updating the record and uh, some other endpoints are there. And I have deployed that uh, Spring Boot application. Now, I want to see how many requests are coming into our application and how many requests are getting success, how many requests are getting failed and for a particular endpoint or particular uh, particular URL, how many requests are coming, right? So this kind of monitoring things we can achieve using Prometheus. Okay, hope you got a idea that why we required Prometheus for monitoring our application I told right. So how many requests are getting success, how many requests are getting failed and uh, uh, for a particular URL how many requests are coming. So all this kind of uh, uh, things we can achieve using Prometheus and apart from that one uh, some environment specific so how many uh, uh, what is the space available in your system and all other uh, um, environment specific uh, things also we can uh, we can see in Prometheus okay so now let's see what are the components of Prometheus and how we can integrate this Prometheus to our Spring Boot application okay so just see how it works so first our Spring Boot application is there right so we need to instrument our Spring Boot application to expose matrices that Prometheus can collect Okay, so we need to tweak something in our Spring Boot application or we need to change something in our Spring Boot application so that it will expose different matrices to that Prometheus application and Prometheus can collect those matrices. Correct? The next is Prometheus follows a pool based model. Okay, so where it scraps matrices data from the target. So Prometheus, a separate application will be there. Uh, separate application will be there which will pull the matrices from our Spring Boot application. Okay, so target means here our Spring Boot application. Okay, so it will pull those matrices at a regular interval. Clear? So to enable this, uh, we typically integrate a Prometheus client library to client library into our Spring Boot application. Okay, so how these matrices will expose? We need to do something, right? So we need to add the library to our Spring Boot application. Clear? So two things will be there here: our Spring Boot application, where we need to uh, add the add the Prometheus client library. So it's nothing but a Spring Boot starter. I will show you. And another part is a separate a separate Prometheus application, which will uh, which will run some port. Uh, like uh, uh, which will run a separate port and it will uh, pull those matrices clear so two things will be there one is our Spring Boot application another is Prometheus server we can say or Prometheus application also we can say clear now let's see how we can generate our Spring Boot application uh, by adding that Prometheus client library and we'll download that Prometheus application and we'll run and we'll integrate the Spring Boot application with Prometheus Hope you hope you got a cl crystal clear idea. Now let's see how we can do that one. So if you'll see here the Spring Boot Starter.io. So here in Spring Initializer, I have generated this project where I have uh, taken this as a Maven project and I have taken this 3.1.2 as a version and uh, this group artifact name, description, package name, and packaging style as a jar. And Java version I am taking 1.1.8 1 
and dependencies uh, as I am doing this one is for PUC so I have added only web and Prometheus observability so this Prometheus this is the client library required to expose uh, the matrices clear and I have generated this project uh, next I have imported that project to my STS so you can use any of the IDE whether it's STS IntelliJ idea so I have imported this IDE if you'll see in pom.xml let's see what are the uh, dependencies it's added so if you'll see here java 1.8 and dependency spring boot starter web and another one is micrometer registry prometheus right this micrometer is required to add and another thing also we need to add this uh, spring boot starter actuator i mean later i have added so this actuator also we need to add then only it will enable uh, those matrices with prometheus okay so these two things is mandatory so uh, if you are adding uh, prometheus uh, to your to your existing project then you need to add these two uh, dependencies one is uh, spring boot starter actuator and another is uh, this uh, prometheus registry micrometer registry prometheus clear so now let, let's move to another one so in application dot properties we need to we need to have uh, this attribute like uh, Management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot include is equal to star. So this this exposes all the uh, endpoints uh, from this actuator. Okay. Then server dot port it's running on eight one eight one. So as already I have running this uh, running this server. We'll see. And for testing purpose I have added one. Uh, a uh, rest controller so i have uh, added this rest controller on the main application itself so here i have uh, provided one a get mapping and just returning some messages right uh, prometheus test okay so now let's see go to our web browser and we'll see uh, this prometheus the c actuator and prometheus so if you'll see here uh, these matrices it's showing right if you'll see uh if you'll see here different matrices it's uh, pointing out or it's showing so system cpu count 8.0 and a uh, lot of other executor pool size something it's showing and uh, jvm gc overhead percentage something it's showing and lot of other lot of other uh matrices it's showing right so this is the endpoint where uh, it will expose those matrices from our Spring Boot application. Okay. So so what is the next one? So we need to uh, we need to start our Prometheus server to connect this URL or to connect this endpoint and fetch those matrices. Okay. So for that one, uh, you can download this prometheus standalone version or you can if you have uh, docker engine then you can dockerize this application and you can connect from there okay so uh, for now in this case in this scenario i have downloaded this uh, uh, jar or, or gif file and i have installed this prometheus in my local okay this is pretty simple simple download this one and uh, uh, we need to uh, download this one okay then run this application okay so to modify this one we need to we need to little bit modify this application so in that folder if you'll see prometheus.yml1 uh, configuration file will be there so where we need to change this uh, scrap config right so job name prometheus anything we can give and matrices path so this matrices path means so from which endpoint it will scrap those uh, scrap those uh, matrices so if you'll see here our endpoint is what this actuator prometheus right so that one we have configured here actuator and prometheus and scrap interval we are providing five seconds so uh, in the interval of five second it will uh, it will pull those matrices right and uh, 
we are providing this uh, the study can fix the target so this is the url but uh, what is the host and port for that uh, particular url so that one we are providing here if you'll see localhost 8181 we are providing so the same thing we have uh, configured over here okay so this is the overall uh, configuration so if you want i will show you uh, where exactly uh, where exactly it's there exactly oh my bad so open with so in system explorer where is the system explorer yes got it so i'll show you where I, where exactly i have um, installed that that particular mm, project i think here it's there so if you'll see here uh where is prometheus yes this prometheus so after uh, after downloading that prometheus you need to extract this uh, extract that uh, zip file then it will extract it like this and you will get this folder and here if you'll see prometheus this uh, prometheus.yml so this yml file i have configured so, we, so before running this prometheus.exe you need to configure that prometheus.yml first and then then only you can run this prometheus.exe okay to start the prometheus server so once it's once it's got started if you'll see here uh, so this ui you will get so prometheus localhost 9090 if you will hit uh, you will get this prometheus dashboard okay so in prometheus dashboard uh, we can have lot of matrices are there here if you will see so i am also not sure uh, all these matrices about so the, all these matrices use let's see uh, system cpu uses so how many uh, cpu uses it's taking let's see something 0. Point, uh, so our application is taking 0. 0.5.8 something uh, that uh, cpu uses it's taking so like this lo lot of matrices are there and you can explore so uh, one matrices let's see so how many uh, uh, requests are coming so if you'll see here so so for uh, get request this prometheus get get request so uh, test up so this url we are hitting one time okay let's see uh, let's let's we'll hit another time so already i have hit this one let's see another time two times and three times let's see in prometheus so whether it's uh, swaying two times or three times so uh, to scrap that one it will take five uh, it will take five seconds to let test uh, scrap to pull those matrices so let me uh, run it again see three times right so how many times this uh, this url got hit three times and you can specify uh, more uh, about so for example you you want to uh, see the uh, all those requests that are getting 200 status so status e status equal to <coughs> 200 clear <coughs> sorry so here so if you'll see here only two requests are coming with status 200 for example let's let me uh, type here status 500 so no requests are there with status 500 right so like this you can uh, you can play around it and you can explore more uh, by yourself just i am just i have provided uh, that basic thing so how you can configure uh, or integrate prometheus with spring boot application uh, so this is the overall idea right so hope you got a uh, crystal clear idea so regarding this one and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, provide your valuable comments in the comment section uh, so if any suggestion or if you want any uh, other videos so definitely i will uh, upload them as well right so thank you for watching guys have a nice day